So welcome back to another quick one this week and it's all about how I added edging tape to some of the bungalow's new kitchen doors and drawers from a few months ago. It's quite a similar project to when I showed you how I added edging tape at the end of a laminate worktop but the reason we had to add these is because my dad was given a free kitchen cancellation but it also meant that some of them had to have alterations during lockdown and it left some raw edges and this one in particular was about a one millimeter melamine edge. And after cutting a piece down to a workable size with a junior hacksaw, I'd apply contact adhesive to the back of the tape first and then move on to the raw MDF edge, starting off with the drawer and later moving on to some of the doors. And if you've never worked with contact adhesive, it's really stinky stuff. So make sure you do this in a well-ventilated area and protect any of your work surfaces that you're working on like in my case, using some carpet underlay. I'd then leave it for a few minutes to dry so it would stick on better, and then align the bottom of the tape to the bottom of the drawer's edge and press firmly. But before I trim it down and cut around the j pull handles and then moved on to the others. Now the door here had two raw edges, so I had to unclip these from the hinges so I could actually get to them properly. Then time for the junior hacksaw and repeat. And for some pro carpenter tips, my dad showed me the best technique initially, and that was holding a rasp at a 45 degree angle and removing the sharp edge by running along it side to side. So once that softened a bit, I could then continue on an angle, but away from me. So I'm pushing away, I lift off, come back. I'm never pressing down while going back and forth, which can pull away the edging and damage it. And also get a feel from time to time, so I didn't take off too much on an angle and use a rag to apply pressure evenly while removing any excess glue. I also needed to repeat on the next side of this, so with the overhang, I carefully removed most of it with a hacksaw, but leaving enough to work with, then rasp again on the corner and more contact adhesive. For the J-pull handles, this was even more tricky, so I had to cut a notch out with a hacksaw around it, then use a long slim rasp to work around the groove. It does help for a good set of rasps for this. So I'm doing that on an angle and then every now and again file it while it's flat so I can keep making sure I'm not filing away too much. But because there's a lot of nooks and crannies here I'd also have to go back to a flat rasp and just keep rotating until I get it right. But another way that you could shave any edging off is very lightly use a plane. So there you go. I know you might not need to do this very often, but you may very well do if you need to do any alterations to fit a kitchen on a budget or even just cover up raw edges on a shelf. Anyway, thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you soon.